Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to share with you just some of my drugstore favorites. And I have been, you know, it's kind of funny because in in my, my real life, in my job and all that, I always call myself the queen of cheap in the sense that if there is a better alternative that costs less money, especially when it comes to certain things that I'm doing in my business, um, or if I'm booking an airline flight, I'm gonna look around. I'm, I'm not so much like a, a shopper in the sense, but I'm usually driven to purchase a product. And then when I identify that product, I'm gonna see where I can get the best buy. So, yeah. So this is just some of my drugstore favorites because I have been using drugstore products for a lot longer than I've ever used anything high-end. In fact, there's very few high-end cosmetics that I have to have. And actually, I can think of two that I have to have that comes to cosmetics. The rest of my cosmetics a drugstore and I think sometimes drugstore does it better than high-end so if you're curious about some of my favorites please stay tuned so it's not gonna be a surprise to you guys when I talk about mascara I have had mascara Gosh, all my, all my, since I was 12, I have been a mascara wearer. I, I go nowhere without mascara. If I had to choose a cosmetic that I couldn't live without, it would be a mascara. Now, I have a favorite uh, that I get off of Amazon, which is the Petite and Pretty. That is my ultimate currently favorite mascara. It is reasonable when you think about the price of mascara and especially the high-end prices. But there is drugstore mascaras that I think rival it that I want to pair with it. In other words, I love how lush the Petite and Pretty makes my lashes look. But I will start out sometimes, and I don't have it with me here, I have an Essence Primer. I'll put the primer on my lashes, which is kind of really spooky looking because then my lashes are all white. And then I typically will do a first coat with my ultimate favorite. This is my Essence Lash Princess. When I started to use this particular drugstore product, to me, it rivaled my high end at the time, which was Superhero, um, if I made cosmetics, Superhero Mascara was my high end of choice. I have tried many other high-end mascaras, many of them, they were sent to me complimentary for review, but the high-end mascara that I repeatedly purchased was the Superhero. I love the Superhero. I thought it was awesome. I discovered the Essence, the Lash Princess, the black tube with the purple writing. I have the green one. I have the one that has peach. They are not the same. They, they don't hold the same. They don't cover the same on my lashes. It may be completely different on yours, but on mine, they're just, they're not the same. So I love this. When I discovered it, I quickly realized, and I kept trying my superhero because I'm like going, it's going to be better. It's like, I don't know, five times the price of this. But ultimately, it wasn't. This lasted as long. It didn't flake on me. It didn't smudge on me. It was just beautiful. Today, this is still my drugstore mascara of choice. I just picked up two of them. I think I showed it in one of my last videos. Um, I haven't been able to find it as readily. I can find all the other Essence mascara, but this one is always sold out for a reason, obviously. So I picked them up. I got the last two off the shelf. And what I do is I use the primer and I do my mascara first. You guys have heard me say that. I do my mascara first uh, after I do my skincare and all that. And I usually have like an eye mask underneath and I'll start with my mascara. So I do my, my uh, primer and for my lashes and then I let that dry and then I'll go in the living room and I have my mirror and I typically will start with this and I put one coat on each eye. And then I immediately go into my Petite and Pretty and I dip once and I just coat the entire lash is upper and, and lower with my Petite and Pretty. 
and then I dip again and I do the other eye. So I'm repeating one eye with one dip um, and my lashes just start to pop. They just really start to pop. Then I, when I'm done, I will then go in the bathroom and I'll take a Q-tip and I'll wipe off the excess that I have because I'm, I'm not really neat with it. And that's when I start to do the rest of my skincare or I might still have my eye masks on. I wear an eye mask every day. I might still have my eye mask on and then I start to do my eyeshadow. I've got a number of different drugstore eyeshadows that I've been playing with, but I haven't found one that I like as much. I found ones that are close, but I haven't found one that I like as much as my Amethyst from uh, Viseart. I just love that palette. I love the colors. I love the payout. I love how it looks on my eyes. So, but I have been playing with many different and I'll probably show them in another video because today's uh, eye look is completely drugstore. So, <sighs> mascara, absolutely. If you can get your hands on this one, if you haven't tried it, check it out, try it. Now, foundation has been an issue for me. I have, um, I've gone to the Kick-Ass Foundation. Um, I've gone to a few different foundations, but I always go back to my high-end foundation, which I happen to buy at the SD, uh, at the um, cosmetic company store, and it is my SD Lauder Double Wear. And I just love that foundation. The only thing that comes close and does not cover as much, and I have all those veins, is going to be my number seven, Lift and Luminate. I've talked about this foundation. This one is unopened, and um, I'm going to leave it unopened. I'm going to pack it with me on my trip, and I'm going to leave it unopened and put this in the suitcase. But this is in the color Wheat, which is a really nice coverage for me. Lift and Luminate. It gives me a little bit of a glow, not much. I have very dry skin. And one of the things that um, I, when I went and I had the procedure done, the, the Botox that I talked about two videos ago, the, the injector, the, um, the doctor, uh, basically said that she was amazing how good my skin looked, how luminous. And it, it wasn't the foundation because it had come off at that point in time that cleaned my face and all that. But it's the collagen, I think, is what really works from the inside out. So that and wearing a foundation that gives me a little bit of a glow, which I prefer in my, my number seven. The number seven that I've been wearing the most is the Hydro Luminous. This is just really pretty. Hard to find here in the States. I haven't looked in a while because I have two of them. This was actually gifted to me from one of you, my subscribers from the UK, and this is in the color wheat. Still my favorite. I love this foundation. It rivals, this version rivals my Estee Lauder. Is it, it's not an exact dupe. It doesn't cover as much, but oh my gosh, this is a beautiful foundation and I'm thrilled that I have two. I hope eventually they'll sell it here in the States. I like this better than the number seven. Now I'm going to say that number seven is a foundation or a brand that's a bit more pricey, but it's drugstore. It's a bit more pricey. The other thing that I really like, for the longest time, I would do Urban Decay when it was on sale and I would get their gel liners because I don't like a pencil you have to push down on. I don't like um, anything that's super drying and I also don't like anything I have to sharpen. So I have been on a hunt. Some of the pencils that I have, I've had this for quite a while. This is from Sephora. This is their gel. You twist it up. It's got the little, it's got the um, little smudging brush on the end. Now, I'm boycotting Sephora. You know, ever since, and this was a number of videos ago where I talked about the fact that Sephora sent me a survey, and as soon as I said my age, they said no, thank you. And I just found offend. I was offended by that. However, these pencils from Sephora, and I have like three or four of them that have been purchased over the course of time. They, they're hands down better than my Urban Decay. Sorry, they are hands down better than my Urban Decay. So um, when I need to repurchase this, I'm gonna send my husband into Sephora, <laughs> just for the principle of the matter, because I don't want to support Sephora. I thought they treated me crappy. So Sephora pencil, for those of you that are not, you know, my age, and you love Sephora, these are really, really nice better than my Urban Decay. And Ulta, 
also has a retractable pencil that's a gel liner however the ultra one does not have any kind of a smudging you know tip on the end which i really like but it does have the retractable it is a softer pencil and I like that a lot. Now, when you when you talk about gel pencils that retract up and down, if if you're not careful, you can break them off, right? I mean, that's a drawback. But Ulta has a really, really nice one. But the one I have been using the most, and it's a little bit hotter than the Sephora one, and about uh, a little bit maybe about the same level as Ulta. And that is the one that I get from e.l.f. I love the e.l.f. pencils a lot. I think that the e.l.f. pencil, the retractable e.l.f. pencil, has a good payoff. The colors are vibrant. They last. They don't run. They don't smudge. And they have a ton of different shades, which I really like. So I love those pencils. The second ones I would like are the ones from NYX. I think the NYX retractable pencils are super nice as well. But hands down, number one drugstore, and I hate to admit it, is going to be that Sephora. The Sephora one is the one that I just really, really, really like. And second would be Alt, um, Altus. And Elf would be probably, I probably have more Elf than I have from the Alta brand. And Elf is way more affordable. I do not like the Essence pencils. I've tried many of those. I don't like them as much. But I'll tell you, e.l.f. hands down, their pencils are beautiful. Absolutely for me. And I love the different shades that you can get. Essence, I love their mascara. Oh, baby, I love their mascara. So NYX, I use for the brow. I have a lot of um, brow color. And I also use the e.l.f. And I just got two more. E.l.f. I love it. So I end up putting this on my eyebrows and then I put one of those gel ones that you can freeze it in shape so it doesn't, you know, go all over the place, which I never really have a problem with, but I just feel like it really holds it. And I use that on top of this. I love that. So e.l.f. hands down. Most of my drugstore products are e.l.f. This really cute blush. It's got a little bit of a glow, so you have to powder it down, or at least I do, because it just gives me too much of a glow. It may look brown, but it is a really pretty, pretty shade. Let's see if I can... I don't even know if you can see anything. And then this is the, the Brow Wiz that I use, the e.l.f. Brow Gel. Put that on there. And then NYX is usually what I put on under my under my brows. So, you know, I love drugstore, right? I mean, to me, it's affordable. I think half the time my makeup looks really good. I use a setting spray when I'm all done. And my setting spray of choice is, again, NYX. And this is the matte finishing fine mist. I have a big canister of one. I have a Morphe one. I've had... I've had many different setting sprays, but I keep coming back to this one. It's my favorite. It does a great job. Holds up well on me. The matte will take down any of my excess shine, which I sometimes have. So I do think Drugstore does it better. They certainly do it better on my wallet. And I've never been a high-end gal. I mean, other than my Estee Lauder foundation and my Viseat palette, those are really the two high end that if I have to say that I can't live without that I would have to that and I have repurchased I have other high end palettes that have been gifted to me I love them I use them but my Viseat's my number one favorite and to this day I have not and I've got a ton lately this has been happening to me my batteries don't last long I've got to get I've got some new batteries on order I'm hoping they come before our trip but it's just very very frustrating um, so I have a ton of, of uh, drugstore products and like I think I was saying that I had a lot of drugstore palettes that I'm not ready to really talk about them because I want to keep using them for a while especially this one on my eyes before I say I really like it but right now obviously my Viseat's the best and I want to enclose um, I often get comments about my lipstick or lack of lipstick. Some of you will say, you look washed out, you need to put darker colors on. 
I just can't bring myself to wear dark lipstick. I just cannot get to that point yet. So my choice, my lipstick of choice has been, and I have a ton of lipsticks. I should show you how many lipsticks I have, but the one I keep wearing is Romantic Rose from Maybelline, and this is the number 450. This is the one I just wear over and over again. I just really like it. It's a, it's a, a I think it's a pretty, uh, pretty pink. It's not too peachy. It's not too brown. It's not too pink. It's sort of like right in that halfway point. I consider it a nude, more of a nude color, and it's just super pretty. And then my, my uh, Rimmel, and I have, I just bought more of this. Number 45. These are the two drugstore lipstick that I have, I have repeatedly bought. Now, both the Rimmel and the Romantic Rose I've had to buy off of Amazon because I have not been able to find either one of these shades in any of the drugstores that I go to. Not Walgreens, not Walmart, not CVS, any, any of them. I always look to see. I never see this one and I never see this one. So um, this is a Kate Spade from Rimmel. 45 is my favorite. And Romantic Rose from Maybelline at 450 is my favorite. So that kind of wraps up my, my drugstore. I hope you enjoyed the video. When you see this video, I won't be around, so I may not be able to answer comments as readily. I will get to all your comments, but uh, by the time this gets published, where will I be? I will be in Vegas. I will be in Vegas at our annual conference, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services is the franchise that I belong to and we have our annual conference or convention and this year it's in Vegas next year it's in New Orleans oh my gosh I'm really looking forward to that but it's in Vegas baby so Jay and I are going to be flying out we've got a bunch of um, events planned that we have to take work events and um, and all of that and then at the end of our convention that's when we're going to be doing a little a getaway so um, yeah, I'm super excited. So next I'm going to share with you because so many of you have asked about my watch bands. You know, where do you get your watch bands? And just like my foundations and my makeup and stuff like that, I have my favorites. I'm an Apple Watch person, but you can get some really pretty Apple Watch bands that are so affordable. So I'm going to talk about that. And also a lot of you ask about earrings. And I, I am, I've got a ton of earrings. And um, one of our YouTubers, Wendy, has created uh, packages of earrings for me that I purchased from her. Now, I haven't done any in a while, but I'm going to have to reach out to her and see if she can do me another package. But she creates jewelry, and it's affordable, and it's pretty. So I'll be showing some of that in my next video. Guys, thank you so much. Love to you all, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.